And that's actually our last camera of all, of all the new cameras here on Explore.org. And Mike, coming up to our next segment, I know everyone's been eagerly watching all of the nests. So let's take a look at this week's Egg Watch. Yeah, there's a ton going on. It's almost too much to keep track of. I'm, I'm really glad that we have this graphic because otherwise I think I've even confused myself here. <laughs> uh, let's start with uh, the Decora um, bald eagles in Iowa. Right now there's one eaglet in the nest. This uh, this pair had two eggs, but one, uh, one of the chicks uh, died within 24 hours of hatching. We don't know why, um, but the second chick seems um, pretty healthy and lively and it's been getting fed regularly by its parents. So this, uh, this chick hatched on April 6th uh, and really looking at, um, you know, what's been going on in this nest is given, I, I think, an amazing opportunity to, to consider sort of life and death in a bird nest. Um, you know, this chick is making a go at it um, right in the exact same place that its sibling didn't make it. Uh, we don't really have I don't think a good understanding of why the first chick didn't survive in this nest. However, um, I'm going to be talking with um, the Raptor Resource Project experts, um, John Howe and Amy Reese. So they're our partner for this webcam, and they do a lot of wonderful work to study and monitor and conserve bald eagles and others in the Midwest. So you can join us for that, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific on the live chat channel on explore.org. That's not the only eagle nest, of course, that we're watching. Uh, the Sauces Bald Eagle Nest, this is a, you know, a story of hardship and, and loss and persistence and commitment. There was a single egg that they're incubating, and in fact, they're still incubating um, the egg as we speak. Uh, but it was expected to hatch sometime between April 3 or April 6. And right now, um, since they're still incubating it, uh, it's probably not viable, but the parents are still there. So maybe they know something that I don't. It's quite possible that they do. Um, they're much better at raising yeah, um, eagles uh, and, and incubating eggs than I am. So I'm not really sure. I think the story of this nest hasn't quite concluded yet. Um, but no matter what, I think it really emphasizes the parents' diligence and persistence and, and commitment um, to their task. Uh, also in uh, the Channel Islands, a little bit farther to the south in California, outside of the National Park, but also with our partner, the Institute for Wildlife Studies, the Two Harbors Nest, we got a single chick in there that hatched um, on, started hatching on April 7. Um, and both of the parents in this nest were born in captivity and released in the wild as part of the effort to restore bald eagles to the Channel Islands. Uh, and they've nested together in this territory since 2003. So uh, congratulations to the Two Harbors Eagles. We got um, nests on geese, or cameras on geese nests as well. Um, in Decorah, Iowa, there are six eggs in this nest. This is an abandoned uh, eagle nest that we have uh, a pair of geese nesting on uh, the female geese are the only ones that are incubating um, but six eggs in this nest uh, estimated hatch date maybe uh, sometimes towards th the end of the month uh, for this nest in montana at the rogers place nest uh, with the owl research institute this um, platform was originally built for osprey but uh, geese will use that as well and there's six eggs in this nest as well so i think we might see hatching sometime in early may for this nest. With um, peregrine falcons uh, along the Mississippi River, the upper Mississippi River got four eggs in the Great Spirit Bluff nest, uh, and they incubate their eggs for about 33 days. Uh, so we're probably looking at hatching towards the end of the first week of May with this nest. And then over uh, to the eastern United States with the uh, Chesapeake peregrine falcons, four eggs in that nest as well. This is in uh, downtown Baltimore, Maryland. So we're going to see a lot of pigeons being brought to uh, to feed the chicks in this nest. And I think, let's look at my notes here. Yeah, uh, perhaps the first week of May, I think we can expect some hatching there. And then finally, also uh, along the Chesapeake Bay at the Grapeau Heron Rookery, um, we don't know what's quite going on in the nest because the nest is just a little bit too high for our camera to look down in. So we're not sure how many uh, eggs might be in that nest. But great blue herons um, are ace or 
experience asynchronous hatching. So not all of the eggs hatch in once or at once. And they hatch after about 27 days of incubation. However, the property owner has found uh, an eggshell on the ground in this colony. So at least some birds have hatched in the, in the colony. Um, so I think we might be able to see um, in short order, some tiny bird, or excuse me, some tiny heron heads poking up above um, the crown of that that nest. Well, boy, Brian, that's that's a lot to talk about. But um, is a lot. we have one one more one more update to to discuss uh, associated with birds. That's right. So as we're looking at all the eggs, we're so excited to start see see them hatching, and then as so once they hatch and start growing up, now we have our fledge watch. Yeah, first uh, fledge watch of the year is our Buick Wrens, and you might be thinking, well, Mike, you just, you know, Brian, you just introduced this camera. What's going on? Well, this is just a super fast process for these for these small birds. Uh, could be 20 days somewhere around in there uh, but the chicks hatched on march 31st and april 1 so they could be ready to leave the nest by the end of the week so if you want to enjoy these birds do it now because if you tune in you know uh, sometime next week they might be they might be gone and all young birds grow a lot during the first few weeks of their lives but the smaller the bird the more dramatic this process really seems to me, it's, it's almost like you can see them growing on a day by day basis. And I, I took a break from the cameras yesterday. Uh, and when I looked at this cam this morning, I was like, wow, those birds have grown tremendously. And we're looking at um, the chicks in the first few days of their life in this clip right here. So if you were to go to this camera right now, you would see that the chicks are much, much larger, have um, more developed feathers across much of their bodies. So it's a different, it's a different scene in the nest right now, much more crowded than it was uh, just a few days ago. And the amount of work that the parents commit to the ra the raising their young really is amazing. And I, watching these birds uh, helps to emphasize that to me. And I can hear my mother, you know, right now rolling her eyes and saying, well, duh, you should know that. And I do know that, mom. Thank you very much. <laughs> but, but you know, watching these, uh, as someone who's not a parent myself, watching watching the birds really helps to to emphasize that. That's great. And so that does conclude this week's Egg Watch and Fled Watch. Be sure to join us next week for another update. And we do have some questions coming in for our and our comments here, and we'll get to those in just 